I was kind of nervous at first, and then knobs are coming in, and I'm really like, uh, you know, I'm not that big. I'm only 5'3", 119 pounds. So kind of thought like maybe they, the knobs might not listen, or you know, they might not respect me. But I learned if you show that you should be respected and you you are here for a reason and you're you know, you're here to do something, then they respect you, especially the sternness. Even though I'm so short, the knobs are like all they have here. So if you're stern with them and you show, show them that you mean business, then they'll listen to you. Well, as the regimental public affairs officer, I'll just, I just learned that it's a lot of work maintaining a school's image, even if the cadets don't necessarily do anything wrong, because it just takes time and there's so many people on campus and so many aspects of it. And the thing I'll really take away is that you have to be proud of your campus in order for other people to see how proud you are. Whether you're doing an interview with the Post and Courier or News 2, if you show pride in your school, they'll know that this is a place to be proud of. Leadership to me is about knowing the people you're leading. It's about putting myself in their shoes and understanding what they're going through. I think what's best for my men and women. Well, I call this rifle Kevin, <laughs> and that's what I named him. This is an air rifle. Uh, we shoot pellets, and it takes a lot of focus, a lot of discipline, a lot of patience. And the challenging part about the sport is not getting frustrated, and that's where the leadership part comes in. And being a leader of this team is not getting frustrated by making bad shots. And how that carries on to the battalion as a cadet, once again, not getting the little things gets you. You can just roll off your shoulders and just, you know, reassess. And, and get back on the horse again. I feel like just my duties as a religious officer are very important and you know I'm a devout Christian and I always try to put God first in everything and according to my beliefs if you put God first and work hard in everything that you're doing then he'll make it all work out and thus far it has worked out for me. I feel like being a leader is influencing others of course one towards a common goal but secondly and I feel more importantly um, towards a heightened sense of morality that brings honor and glory to God. I think this position has taught me a lot about the value of diversity in leadership. If we all come to the table with the same thing, we're, we're one person at a table. If we all come from a different place and we all offer different perspectives, then we can get a lot more done. So having another student who's Jewish or who's Muslim or who's African American or who's uh, an exchange student all of those people have something different to offer and by really utilizing that we have an opportunity to do a lot more than we would if we all looked exactly alike and came from the same backgrounds. Well, I would think that leadership is the ability to motivate others to follow you and I feel that if I just work so hard and other people can see that they'll be more willing to be like, wow, this girl is out here doing all this. I want to do something like that too because I do believe to be a leader in the future you first need to learn how to follow and Nav Year prepares any cadet to be a leader. I just think this country can use good leaders for the future and I think that the Citadel definitely prepares people for leadership.